Hello again and thank you for clicking in. Um, today I'm just going to talk a bit now, uh, you know, something I, I feel may be on people's minds. What can I expect from therapy? So if you're in the process now of considering entering therapy, or if it's something that you think I really would like to, or I really feel I need therapy, but I don't know what to expect. Because it, let's be honest, it's scary. It really is scary and it takes incredible courage for someone to go, not only forced, make the forced appointment, that takes immense courage, but the courage it takes to walk through the door for the full session is amazing. So when I'm saying this, I'm really only speaking to people who have no experience of therapy. People who have gone through therapy will be very familiar with this information. Um, so in the, in, the, in, the, in the area of the therapist you like, it's really important, as I keep saying, I'll keep saying it again, it's really important you really like the therapist, you trust the therapist, you get on, now you're not going to trust them immediately, obviously, because you just met them, but you should get a feel, this feels okay, this feels right, that feeling may change, as you go through the process, it may change, you know, because we grow, there's different things to happen in therapy relationships, we might see someone in the therapist, that maybe reminds us of someone when we were growing up or someone that was a less positive um, influence in our lives. In that case, it's really important to mention it to the therapist. But if you're not ready and you just feel this is wrong, it's OK to turn around and, you know, just say to the therapist, it's, look, this isn't working for me. I think I'm going to move on. Um, but the thing is, if you have a therapist that you feel really comfortable with and ultimately very safe with, it's really important to talk about that kind of stuff that's something that comes up in therapy um that's getting in the way really needs to be brought into the room and, and i remember an old teacher of mine a therapy teacher before years ago saying to me whatever gets in the way of the work is the work and i thought that was perfect and this is something that will get in the way of the work so what you're getting in therapy you're choosing therapy you're picking the right therapist for yourself someone that you feel comfortable with male or female it really makes no difference to the therapist that makes if it makes difference to you and you make a decision i want to only work with a female therapist really go and just work with a female therapist i've had clients in the past that in a center i was working that only wanted a female therapist and they ended up with me and it turned out that they were grateful they were very glad so ultimately it makes no difference but i think the initial meeting if you feel comfortable more comfortable with a female than a male you know you really need to please yourself though so you're going to be met by the therapist. You're going to have a very supportive relationship, very supportive. You're going to, you should feel that straight away. It's a very non-judgmental. So it's like the judgment you're feeling is yours about yourself. This, all this stuff that goes around in you yeah, about, I am not good enough. Um, I should be better. I'm stupid. I'm no, all this stuff. And if I bring this, if I mention this, I've never said this to anyone. If I mention this, he's going to think or she's going to think that I'm horrible. I'm a horrible person. Therapist is not there to judge and they certainly won't judge you. And I'd be, I test that they haven't heard something very similar in the past. So it's like you're not going to shock them. You're not going to harm them. It's really important for you to use therapy for you. Um, not about protecting the therapist, not about anything else. It's about you. Uh, you're going to get confidentiality and as mentioned in earlier earlier video there the um confidential confidentiality has limits and if you're working in the public sector and things like working with children working with uh you know vulnerable vulnerable adults you're already very very aware of this but the general public aren't are, are less familiar so it's about if you're coming to a therapist and you're saying look i'm just i'm at the end of me i'm at the end of my rope i just feel i just want to die i'm, I'm actually going to leave you now and i'm going to kill myself well Every therapist has an obligation to help you and not allow you really to leave in that state to work with you and, you know, get you to the next stage. So it's important as well to talk about that because it's not about resting you or wrestling you to the ground. It's about supporting you. Um, so it's a lovely supportive, non judgmental relationship with contra confidentiality in it. Your therapist uh, the initial sessions will contract with you about the times maybe if you work shift you might have a therapist that can be able to be flexible around your days um some therapists do evening work i don't some therapists do weekend work i don't it's very important that you find if you can only work weekends that's the therapist you choose um 
So, and then you're talking about the money, the cost. So when you're planning, when you're making your initial plan about going into therapy, you're considering all this. You're looking at this, well, if I'm going to therapy and it's going to cost, now it depends on the area, it depends what the therapist is providing, it depends on the therapist's overheads, what the cost is. But I know in Dublin, it ranges from 70 euro an hour to 140 euro an hour, I think I heard recently. It could be higher, not 100% sure. But that's up to the therapist. The therapist sets that price. Now, if you're not happy with that price, you're okay to talk to the therapist and say, well, you know, I'm not really happy with that price. Now, if the therapist is not willing to negotiate and that that's my price, take it or leave it. <laughs> that's unfortunate. But generally, if you have a relationship with a therapist and it's a nice relationship, there can be a little bit of give and take and a little bit of flexibility around it. So it's all this kind of stuff in the contract thing, the fact that, you you know, if you have a cancellation policy, if you don't turn up the sessions, what's going to happen? If uh, you're sick, if you miss, you know, five or yeah, six sessions, there's a lot of stuff in there that you need to discuss. And then moving so that I, it feels really safe and comfortable for both of you to be able to move. Well, I'm really comfortable with this and let's go forward. And then ultimately does the safety of being able to bring your stuff, your actual issues and concerns and worries to the therapy room um so the thing about it is too that everyone is uh, i've i've experienced a lot of people who expect the therapist to know have all the answers as if there's some kind of an oracle um that i'll go to the therapist and i'll say fix my problems oracle and i have this problem in my life tell me how to fix it and that has been said to me more than once trust me more than once the fact is the therapist is not an expert in your life. If I give you advice, it's based on my experience of my life. And it's never going to match you. 100% it's going to cause you untold, untold problems. So the therapy is not there as a you know magic eight ball, an oracle to give you the answers. The therapy is there to support you, that you have the courage and confidence and ability. And, and you know, you do have the ability to find your own answers and to be able to come up with your own solutions and to commit, be able to work in your own life. So therapy is about giving you that back. And um, so when you're within the therapy, the therapy, as I said, therapist isn't the expert. The therapy is when you're telling your story and the therapist is then becoming aware of your frame of reference as in how you see the world through your eyes. And then you get the therapist into the empathy the empathy piece is the therapist is able to literally walk in your shoes and see life and see your frame of reference, how life is to you. And then they're 100% able to go, this is how your life is and understand and walk with you and see what's happening. So it's, oh, the therapy is nov- never about the therapist. It's 100% for the client. Um, the therapist is providing a service and that may be a nine to five Monday to Friday service, whatever, or it might be very limited spaces depending on what the therapist has on the side. A lot of therapists don't work full time. They only work part time. So it's quite an interesting process, but that's what you can expect when you're looking and you're considering entering therapy. And uh, it's always important to be very straight with a therapist. They're never going to be offended by you saying, I think you're charging too much. I'm not happy with that price. I can't work on this day. I need this. You know, it's always important for you to be able to, if you're thinking this, if if potentially, and, and this is the long term down the line, if you're potentially going to be a therapist, depending on your concerns, what's going on for you, you know, two years, let's pick a number out of that. You're going to be with this therapist two years, um, probably 48 weeks in the year for two years. You're going to be, need to be comfortable and secure and confident and happy that you're paying this price. This is the day you're coming. This is the time you're coming because that's going to be it for that time. And once you're happy enough and you've negotiated a contract with a therapist, then your relationship can begin. And once you get into it with a therapist and you've got a lovely relationship going, by the time you're ready to finish, it's not therapy anymore. It's just lovely, um, almost friendship. You know, because there's still boundaries and limits to therapist client relationship, but it's felt as if it's a very safe, very loving, very comfortable friendship that's unique and never experienced in any other area of your life. 
I hope that helped. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please do underneath or you can contact me privately on the WhatsApp. Thank you for watching.